doctor you are uh, indirectly you are advocating that the civil servant has a right to strike is it permissible sir a right to protest is a fundamental no, no, right I'm, sir you be specific no. i'm asking whether the civil servant has a right to strike can you go on strike that is it no sir right to strike is not a fundamental right <laughs> i'm not asking whether it's a fundamental right i'm asking see you know, when you spoke about the doctors online protest whatever whatever i am asking since you aspire to be a civil servant i am asking whether it is permissible to go on strike no sir there are reasonable restrictions on the same so they are not permissible civil servants are not permissible sir is it restricted or absolutely restricted it is not reasonable absolutely restricted you have no right to go on strike one more thing i wanted to ask you see the prime minister recently he was speaking he spoke of two issues one is integrity deficit other is performance deficit see he said these two things should be employed to weed out the inefficient civil servants can you elaborate on that what does he mean by integrity deficit what is performance deficit so integrity deficit is uh, regarding the lack of integrity that is the honesty factor uh, it refers to the intention so whereas uh, performance deficit is regarding what is expected out of him uh, of his authority and what he is been able to deliver it's regarding the efficiency of a person he asked you about iq and sq iq and uh, eq yes. am i right can you extend it beyond that the social question social question no you picked up my sq yes, <laughs> it, it is spiritual question yes. it is not today even every management they want a spiritual portion yes. in your own faith in your own belief it is not unidirectional your faith is different my faith is different is it not so there itself i believe in something that faith takes you up a strong faith leads you to better tribes in the life better value system in the life it's not just iq and the, if you also plays a prominent part can you name two doctors okay who were civil servants and who have left the civil service and made a very big name in india two doctors so i'm not aware sir hey you just go to andhra or telangana Dr. Jay Prakash is there. He left the civil services, an AAS officer. He, uh, he said he will contest election and so bring social reforms. So still yesterday he was in the news. Jay Prakash. I'll read it. Jay Prakash Narayan. Another you may not be aware. The, the, that gentleman was also Jay Prakash, but he was Jay Prakash Agarwal. Yes. After 20 years, he was already a joint secretary with Government of India. He left and he became a Swami Ji. He heads Divine Life Society today. That medical doctor, and you will find lot of medical doctors in Ram Krishna Mission. You will find lot of doctors, those who have joined Ram Krishna Mission or Chinmay Mission also. You have. They have turned spiritual. You think that these doctors are leading us to spiritual life? Every surgeon puts a last word. What is that? Mm -hmm. We have tried our level best. Exactly. Next, God leave it to the God Almighty. That, that is how you are naturally spiritual person. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>